Hello everybody, it's Explore Vegas and today we are at Jasmine in the Bellagio in Las Vegas. We're coming at you with another buffet review. Jasmine, a Cantonese restaurant normally serving up dinner at the Bellagio, offers a very special elevated dim sum brunch buffet for a limited time during the Lunar New Year. From the moment you enter the restaurant, you are whisked away in the beautiful ambiance and stunning views of the Bellagio fountains. The service is impeccable and you will feel like royalty while you're eating here. What is the price for this extravagance? It is $118.88. Was it worth the price? Well, you'll just have to keep watching to find out. Hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and let us show you all the dishes in this extravagant buffet. We'll start the tour dead center with this beautiful display of ducks. They are actually crispy red bean paste in a taro nest. Continuing on with some of their other premium offerings, here are pumpkin cakes, bird nest egg tarts, abalone cakes, here are baked milk custard cakes, Cantonese turnip cakes, crab meat rolls, and coconut rice cakes. These are squid ink salty egg yolk steamed buns. Here is the har gao, also known as shrimp dumplings. These are dragon lobster pouches with exo sauce. Here is shu mai, also known as shrimp and pork dumplings. Here is black bean spare ribs with rice rolls. Here are some sesame cookies and coconut candy. All right, for all the diehards out there, here are the chicken feet. Are you gonna eat it? Are you gonna eat it? Ooh. Here are some sesame balls. They have a nice little fruit section as well. They have some rambutan, cherry, lychee, and oranges. Okay, I asked you if you were daring enough to eat the chicken feet. Here is braised pig feet. Are you gonna eat the chicken feet, the pig feet, or neither? Which one will we eat? Here is fried rice. This is salt and pepper sea bass. Here is choy sum. Some delicious looking soy chicken. And here are one of the many stars of the show. They're replenishing it just in time for us to film it. Here is the ginger and scallion lobster. They are split into half, making it easy for you to just peel the meat right out. Look at those beauties. It's worthwhile noting that the lobster is fresh from the tank. Before we check out the carving station, a big shout out to DVW and Las Vegas Phil who are also checking out the buffet today. Now let's check out the premium carving station. First up, the Peking duck. Don't forget to grab some hoisin sauce with that. Here is char siu pork. Mmm, -mm, looks delicious. Love how it's sliced into little pieces. Don't forget to grab a steamed bun. Add some scallion and cucumber to it as well and you have yourself a nice little sandwich. Of course they have prime rib and I can't wait to sink my teeth into it. Don't forget to add some ajous. And of course, here is the parsley crusted lamb chops. Whoa, those are some beautiful racks of lamb. Add some mint sauce to the lamb or chimichurri to the prime rib. Now let's get into one of the stars of the show. It is the raw bar. Check out those king crab legs. Love how they are split open for you. 
That is beautiful. Just in case you wanted something other than king crab, they have fresh oysters, poached jumbo shrimps, and chilled green lip mussels. I came for the king crab. Don't forget to take some dipping sauces. They even have little bottles of Tabasco. Here is some Thai beef, some tuna cones, delicious looking scallops, and guess what? They have a whole other raw bar display with more king crab legs and the other stuff as well. Who are we kidding? You know you want some of that king crab. There is clarified butter if you wish. We sure do like it. Now let's check out some of the appetizers. We could have showed you these first, but way too many other exciting things. Here are some assorted crackers, bagels, and some bread. Don't eat the bread. You'll fill up too fast. Don't say that I didn't warn you. Here is smoked salmon. And they have all of your standard accompaniments with it. Here is a green and winter citrus salad. Classic Caesar. Beef carpaccio. Lobster spring rolls. That's right, more ways to eat lobster here. Some ahi tuna medallions, some forgua. Some nice seasonal fresh fruit. I know, it's barely touched. That's because everybody's wolfing down the seafood. Some parfaits and chai seed pudding. Here's a tray of imported and domestic cheeses. Let's get a closer look at the noodle bar. Get daring and try the soup of the day. Looks pretty hearty to me. Here is hot and sour soup. Here is the abalone kongi. That looks nice and thick. With your bowl of noodles, grab some sprouts, chicken, shrimp, scallions, or some chili sauce. The desserts this year look masterful. Let's take a closer look at them. Here are some assorted mochi. Some chocolate moons with orange filling. Some more mochi. This one is a mango pudding. A favorite for Mrs. Explorer and I, the mango and sticky rice. That is a Thai dessert. Here is Tang Yuan, which is rice balls and a ginger soup. Here is a steamed milk custard with mandarin. These are green tea truffles. And some mixed jello, coconut lychee and dragon fruit. Are you getting hungry? Let's go grab some food and try it out for you. Let's go get some king crab. Check out the other side as well. That is a pretty good plate of king crab to start. Getting in line for lobster. Can I take a picture with you? Absolutely! Another Lunar New Year, the Year of the Dragon, and we are here at Jasmine at the Bellagio. We've been here before. We always love coming back because they have all of the exciting seafood, like the king crab legs lobster. and the lobster. I love how they do the lobster now. It's the whole lobster. They just split it in half, and it's fresh lobster. You take it out of the tank, cook it in that tray, it's and on our plate. Lobster. I know, I know. It's good stuff. We it's know not it's different. Frozen. It's fresh, fresh seafood. Same thing with the king crab it's not sitting frozen somewhere they're in the tank and we'll show you a picture of that um what do you want to get into you want some of the king crab first or the lobster first lobster all right i don't blame you i'm gonna start with king crab i'm gonna let you start with the lobster i think my hands are just gonna get dirty it's just gonna be the way it is they pre-crack it for you 
So literally, I'm just opening this thing up, peeling out the king crab meat. Ho, 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 ho. What can be more exciting? Seriously, just like chunks of king crab. Oh, I knew you'd like it. I knew you'd like it. Ah, my turn, my turn. Yeah, nice thick piece of king crab. Lunar New Year buffets are so special because of the king crab. Now it's really hard to find king crab, period. Hold on, between king crab and lobster, which one more expensive? I think king crab right now is a little more expensive, yeah. Oh my god. I know king crab is hard to find it's in the buffet. It's hard to find. Yeah. Hard to find, period. It seems like lobster is more buffet have lobster now. We are seeing more that have some lobster, but we're rarely seeing any buffets that have king crab. It really is just like right now, a specialty thing. Like it's a holiday thing, a lunar new year thing in our case, and man, chunks of king crab. Okay. It's so exciting. Get into that lobster. Let us know how it is. Whoa, look at this. Whoa. Oh, peel it right out. Look at that. I know. It's stick together too. I admire that you can get that out with the chopsticks. I know I probably cannot. <laughs> but I admire Whoa. that you can. Look at that. Wow. Mm. There you go. Mm. 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 Oh. Mm. They're all the big mm. ones. And Man. I have a big piece. The, the sauce on there, it's like a little bit of slippery texture. It's so good though. That lobster mm -hmm. is fresh. There really is a difference when it comes out of the tank and they cook it mm -hmm. compared to like frozen lobsters that they're reheating. I actually appreciate how they do this here. It's almost like uh, they cut it about a third of the way. So you're not going to struggle with it, but it, it stays fresh. Sometimes when they split it in half, it dries out, especially if it's out there too long. Ready? Going to get some dim sum. Maybe a stop at the appetizers first. Look at these little pumpkin cake. That looks special. Can't wait. I've had the egg tarts before, but the abalone cake, I have not. So I am going to try that. That's you want bread. You want a pork bun? Uh, yeah. Yeah? You all know me. I won't eat the bread, but sometimes the missus is going to do it. This is a coconut rice cake. Uh -uh. It looks delicious, but I'm gonna get the small one so I can sample more. This is a crab meat roll. Wow, look at the crab meat roll. That looks exciting. That's a Cantonese turnip cake. Slippery. I got it, I got it, I saved it. Let's try one of the Hargaus. The dim sum is the best here. Dragon lobster pouch. Let's try this out. The shumai. We can get one of those. Chicken feet. Uh, that's for me. Mm, you want one? Yeah. All right. I get for you. You're very daring. I don't know that I can do it. Here's the deal. Check this plate out. Whoa. This is glorious. I can't wait to try. I'm gonna go get picking duck. Let's go. <laughs> thank you, thank you. The duck here is the best. I went to all everywhere. Here is the best. Put some hoisin sauce. Oh, look at new duck. I'm cute. I'm curious where the bone go. <laughs> They make soup from the bone. That's why their noodle tastes so good. I think maybe they use the duck bone. Let's get some bun. I know it fills me up, but I love it. You are going to eat the bread. Shut up. Shut up. <laughs> I think that's good for me. Yeah? You got your duck? You're happy? Yeah. All right, do it. So you know what I was thinking? Not only is the dim sum the best here, but the service is the best as well. They are so attentive here. They keep coming over and offering us help. They give us lots of stuff. Oh, speak Thank of it, you. here they are. They're giving us washcloths. They're so nice here. I know. And the food, absolutely wonderful. Let's get into some of this dim sum 
And I'm going to try the lobster dim sum. Mm. You know, I'm always curious, what's it inside? Lobster inside. Oh, look at this. Let me get uh, some shumai. Oh, yes. Mm. They had this little pumpkin cake here that looks exactly like a pumpkin. I'm curious what it tastes like. Yeah. I'm going to get into that. I want to see what's inside too. Mm. <laughs> you know what? Pumpkin in there. <laughs> Delicious. Mm. Soft and creamy on the inside. And then the outer part is like that stretchy, like soft and just like gooey. The perfect combination, man. That was a treat. Rice I think this cake? was the coconut rice cake. Oh, whoa. Uh oh. Mmm. <laughs> It's got like a jelly texture to it, but it's soft and warm, and that coconut flavor is perfect. What yeah. you gonna try? Chicken feet. Oh, the chicken foot. Mm. Oh. Just stab it, there you go. <laughs> yeah, what's that like? Ah, it's got bone in there. I imagine the chicken foot's got bone in it. I'm very good at eating bone. You are, I know. Yeah. You're a pro. I <laughs> try this little abalone cake. Oh, it's crispy. It's crispy on the inside. Not bad. That pork bun's for you because I don't eat the bread. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my picking duck. Mm. They have the best picking duck here. That they do. And I they agree. make it too. They're not like just pick up from Chinatown. No, their chef works they hard make making it. it. <laughs> I remember the the manager actually tells us that the the chef's here late the night before starting the prep on it, and is here early continuing the prep on it. I know. They work hard for this buffet. Let me tell you, not simple. It's so worth it. Oh man, it's good. Yeah. <laughs> Yes, the dance worthy. <laughs> I think they slow cook it. Very soft. And the skin is so crispy. Oh yeah, look at that skin. That's something. Mmm. Super tender. Mm -hmm. Like succulent. Mm -hmm. So good. And that skin, just a little bit of crisp on there. It's perfect. Perfectly complements the meat. Really good. Love the hoisin sauce with it. We're gonna have to come back for Lake Villa dinner. Mm. What do you guys think? Comment below. Should we come back here at nighttime and just have a regular dinner when it's not Lunar New Year buffet? We've been wanting to do that. What do you guys think? I think it's time to pay a visit to the carving station. I'm gonna try some char siu pork. Ooh, they slice it so nicely. Actually, they did, and then I kind of butchered it, but I think we'll still be okay. Get a little bit of the sweet sauce with it. That's gravy. Let's get over here and get some carving and have prime rib. Oh, that looks outstanding. Yes, sir. Thank you, thank you. We're gonna get just a bit of ajus on there. Dab of the horseradish. Let's get a lamb chop. That looks beautiful. Thank you, thank you. Gotta get a little bit of that mint jelly with it. Excited for my carving plate. I'm gonna go get some noodles. May I have some noodles? You trying to have my lovely pot here? Not yet. Oh, I should. Yes, please. Okay. Everything? Uh, yeah, I don't want. I don't want chicken and shrimp. shrimp. Because you know what? I'm gonna go get Peking duck on Not top girl. of the noodles. Girl. Yeah. <laughs> yes. yes. Why she baking that? I'm gonna go get. I'm gonna get some abalone conch. Conch is my favorite. Already abalone on top. I'll make sure I don't make a mess. 
Because I always make a mess everywhere. Whoa, look at this. Thank you so much. Actually, I put some green onion on my gonji too. Oh, you know what? I love spicy. Oh, we know. It's not spicy, and I don't eat it. And we put everything there. All of it. All of it's going in. <laughs> You're gonna stop with some duck? Yes, go get some duck. Duck! It's a big one. Get the big one, yes. <laughs> that should in be enough. You sure? <laughs> it's a small bowl. How many pieces? <laughs> Thank you. You look like you are loaded. Good job. Can you imagine? This is round three here. <laughs> Three. I've got myself a plate of carved meats, and you got your soup, you got your noodles, some bread. Don't eat the bread. I'm so full. But I got to sample it all. It's just, it, it'd just be a shame if I didn't try their prime rib. I know. And if I didn't get into their lamb chops and the char siu pork. All of it is, oh, this is tender when you cut into this. It's super easy. It's not like going to the normal buffet where I'm like cutting and cutting and cutting like I can never get a piece off of there. I'm gonna try without any of the accompaniments first. It's tender and it's juicy. Honestly, like you usually don't get this style in a buffet. This is top notch all the way. Normally your prime rib's dry by the time you get it back to the table. This, not so much, it's perfect. You gonna try some of your soup? You've been waiting for that congee. Yes, abalone con congee. Abalone congee. That looks like a big abalone. You mean there's a big one in there? Yeah, a big one. <laughs> she wouldn't do it any other way. Very good. You said it had to be spicy or you weren't eating it. That's what I heard back there when you were getting it. I know. I'm going to get into the lamb chop. And I love that they have the mint jelly to go with it. Like we were just at a buffet and they had lamb and they had a different kind of sauce, not the mint. You really want the mint. Mm. Mm. It's soft and it's tender. The mint jelly is perfect. Outstanding combination of flavors. Heavenly. The soup in the noodle is so good. Mm. Look at it, it's so good on the noodle too. Mm, I believe mm. you. I'm excited for dessert. Look at this, steamed milk custard with mandarin. Mandarin is orange. Looks nice. <laughs> Green tea truffle. Ooh. Don't use your hand, use the tongue. Don't use your hands, not I classy. I almost. <laughs> almost did it, didn't you? One for me, one for you. Okay, ooh, that looks yummy. I love gold. You love gold. Yeah. You're wearing gold. Hold on. Yeah, that's my Valentine present oh. from Mr. Expo Vegas. I'm gonna get some mochi. Okay. What you gonna get? What else? I'm gonna take some moon. <laughs> this is Thai dessert. Okay, now we're on round four. It is difficult to pass up the desserts here. They elevated their dessert game for sure. Everything just looks absolutely beautifully decorated. Whenever they have something with gold flakes, that makes you happy. Mm, I eat gold. <laughs> you eat gold, don't you? All right, <laughs> what do you got? What do you want to get into first? You know what? I get that one for you. Green the truffle? tea truffle. Okay. Cheers. Cheers. Mmm, smell like green tea. This is very rich chocolate on the inside, and then like these green tea flakes on the outside. So you get a little bit of soft and creamy and a little bit of crunchy together. That was nice. Mango sticky rice? Mango and sticky rice. All right. Mm. I see like layer of coconut milk on there, it looks like. <laughs> I gotta get a little bit of the mango on the bottom with the sticky rice. Mm. I love the coconut milk. That's delightful. It's like, it's light. The rice feels like, like the binding texture is one thing, but when you taste it with the coconut milk, it just has this like light feeling to it. Mm. Yum yum in my tummy. Mm. It's your kind of dessert because it's sweet, but not too sweet. That's what, <laughs> yes. that's what Mrs. always says. I want it sweet, but I don't want it too sweet. I am. I think that, I think they hit the, they hit it dead on with that one. Mm. Don't eat the flour. You know, I actually <laughs> 
actually eat the flour. Well, you eat chicken feet, so. <laughs> you may as well eat the flour. It's probably cleaner than the chicken foot. Oh my goodness. How is that? I can't believe you did it. <laughs> I thought I was daring you. Boom, you did it. I knew it. Ah, did you eat it all the way? Oh my goodness. Do you need a washcloth? Some water? Can you eat that? Yeah. Ugh. Some final thoughts on Jasmine's Lunar New Year Dim Sum Brunch Buffet. We've been here before and we knew the service was impeccable and this visit was no different. Let's review some of the food options. When your starters are foie gras, smoked salmon, and beef carpaccio, you know you're in for a treat. How about the king crab legs? They're nearly impossible to find at any buffet in Vegas right now, so for those who crave them, this was the place to be. They also offer several other premium seafood offerings, including mussels, scallops, oysters, and tuna cones. That was not all. Once you browse the buffet line, you're greeted with a tray of premium split lobsters. Those were beauties. It was so easy to just peel the meat right out. They also did a much better job replenishing the trays. They did it very quickly as a matter of fact. If seafood doesn't tantalize your palate, they offered Peking duck, lamb chops, char siu pork, and prime rib. Of course, we cannot forget about the dim sum. In addition to the hargao and shumai, they had dim sum with lobster in it and abalone. The only thing that is unfortunate is that there are so many premium offerings, it's nearly impossible to eat them all in one trip. If you're looking for a fabulous way to celebrate the Lunar New Year, Vegas style, or just enjoy highly sought after premium buffets, this could be the buffet for you. As always, don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment because the more you do that, the more YouTube shows our videos to new viewers. And remember, it's always a good day to explore Vegas. For all of the Mrs. EV fans out there, please show her some love and subscribe to her brand new YouTube channel, Sweetsy EV. What are you waiting for? Subscribe now.